I live in a city, like millions of people in the world do. My name is Alex, but everybody calls me X. I'm 18 years old, but in relation to Earth's age, I've just arrived here a few minutes ago. I remember when I was 10, and in October, I would go to school with a scarf around my neck, and I would start my summer vacations in June. That was just a few years ago. Nowadays, I go to college in October, but I'm using a t-shirt and I'm all sweaty. And when June arrives, and with it my supposed summer holidays, it's likely raining. When I seriously think about that type of changes, it really makes me feel that huge transformations are taking place on the planet I live in. I remember when I saw Al Gore's documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. After that science class, I really started to think that I should radically change my habits. I really don't know if I do enough for the environment. I mean, I recycle, and it sounds so outdated when someone tells me to put all the garbage together in the same spot. I also skate a lot, and I walk and take public transportation, but that's because I'm not that rich to drive a car every day. I can't guarantee that I wouldn't do it if I had the money. I skate mostly because it's cool. Helping the environment is just an extra. On the other hand, I smoke a lot, and even if I recycle all my cigarette packages, I probably contribute really badly for the increase of the smog and that stuff. You know? Sometimes I see the news about the climate changes, and I forget about them in a minute or so, because they happen so far away from me and don't affect me directly. Nevertheless, when I think about the climate changes that I do feel, I really get worried and start thinking that we are all going to die in a huge explosion or something. We can't ignore there are some serious problems going on. Just look at the news. Floods in England and several European countries, droughts in California. Maybe these type of things were destined to happen on Earth, like a teenager is supposed to have a lot of pimples, even though he takes care of his skin. Maybe Earth is freaking out just because. Still, as I said before, there are a lot of small actions we can do every day to help. Then there are some other measures I can't take on my own. I mean, I can't just simply ask my mom to put a toilet with a duo flushing system because she would tell me she has a lot more to worry about. I wish there was some law that made me take all these unachievable ecological measures. I know that I, we all, can do small things to help correct those huge problems. But doesn't it require more powerful measures taken by the main world polluters? Take recycling as an example. A few years ago, people wouldn't stop talking about it. What is it? How does it help society? Where and how can we recycle every day and make it a everyday habit? I even remember of a TV commercial with a monkey separating all the garbage, showing humans that it was really easy to do. That type of awareness really worked and played a huge role in introducing recycling at home. And yeah, just like recycling, there are still a lot more things I could do for the environment every single day. Maybe I should start carrying a bag when I go shopping instead of asking for thousands of plastic bags. I should read the labels more carefully on all the packed products I buy. But the truth is that I don't really know in which way I do or do not contribute for the environment. I can't have precise numbers, no one can. Is that because of me that the Arctic ice is melting so much? It's kind of fun, being here, thinking about what I can or can't do. Maybe I should make my friends think about this too, and we could make a difference, who knows, and become really famous by saving the earth. There is a certain unique and strange delight about walking down an empty street alone. There is an off-focused light cast by the moon, and the street lights are part of the spotlight apparatus on a bare stage set up for you to walk through. You get a feeling of being listened to, so you talk aloud, softly, to see how it sounds. <laughs> 